Talk about an amazing experience. Here we are after almost 10 days of travel, hunting down cocoa beans here in Peru. We found some amazing beans. They're really, really smooth and sweet. Uh, they're a cacao blanco, so they have a high percentage of these white cocoa beans that are very, very low in acidity. This is also another one that's like really sweet. So that sweetness is turning it into like a peach. That's really good. And what an amazing opportunity. We've been here at Machu Picchu all morning and I'm getting to have one of the original drinks that the Incas had, that the Native Americans had, right here in the heartland of Peru. Wow, that tastes really good. I mean, it tastes a lot like our product. It's thin, so they must mix it with water and a little bit of milk. It tastes like Creole with some added cream and sugar. It's really good. Gracias. And Machu Picchu is an area that uh, it had a lot of the nobility lived here. They believe the brother of the king lived here and they even think there might have been a place where the king himself lived whenever he came. This was a place that was reserved for the, the upper echelon of the Incan people. And we know from history that those are the ones who actually were allowed to drink cacao drink because it was so prized and so precious. So I can only imagine that 500 years ago, 600 years ago when they were building this and when they had this this amazing city, they may have been experiencing something just like this. So this is amazing and I'm so excited to have Peruvian Creole right here in the heart of it all. And it's one of the most smooth like lack of bitterness. Like a lot of times dark chocolate can be really really strong, but this is so smooth and delicious. It's Oh, it's an amazing experience. Wish I was sitting right here with the king right now. <laughs>